Hello everyone, my name is Taha, and I'm an assistant professor at Washington and Lee University. Today I'll be presenting our work on how we can help users find and manage sensitive, expandable files in their cloud storage accounts. This work was part of my PhD dissertation, which I completed at UIC in collaboration with folks at UChicago. I'll start with an example from my own personal Dropbox account. I've been using this service for over a decade. And every time I open my account, it looks something like this. I've got thousands of files across hundreds of folders, many of which I have not looked at in years. For instance, here is a scan of my old passport from eight years ago that somehow is still in my Dropbox. I had originally uploaded it to share it with my lawyer back then. However, at this point, it's not useful to have lying around and only presents risk. Another example is this tax document from 2017. My taxes for that year are all filed and done, so not only is this no longer useful, but it also contains sensitive financial information, which in the wrong hands can be a source of harm. Every time I scroll through my account, I find stuff I no longer need, including things I definitely want to delete for privacy and security. However, it's infeasible to manually examine thousands of files. The fact that I have Decade-old data in my account increases the overall risk if it were ever to be compromised. Every other day, we hear about data breaches and account compromises. Some of these are large-scale and make it to the headlines, but there are numerous targeted ones happening daily through phishing and social engineering. While they may not make headlines, they still harm internet users. So living in a world where data breaches have real consequences, yet the scale of personal data does not allow manual management, wouldn't it be great to have a tool to help? You can leverage machine learning to design a classifier to partially automate finding sensitive expendable files users likely wish to delete or protect. Some challenges make the problem interesting. The first is the lack of existing labeled datasets for this specific classification task. There is no Kaggle dataset for cleaning up cloud storage accounts. Second. File management is highly subjective and personal. One person might want to share their poetry viably, but hide their naked photos. Another person might instead be more embarrassed by their poetry and want it all deleted. Prior work does not identify what features could be used for the kinds of classifiers we wanted to build. Our main contribution is the user-centered design of human-in-the-loop classifiers to help users identify and manage sensitive expendable files in their cloud storage accounts. We accomplished this through three tasks, each of which focused on a distinct research goal. To first develop a comprehensive understanding of the characteristics of files that users most likely want to delete or otherwise manage, we conducted qualitative interviews. We then turned our new understanding into features to collect from users' real Google Drive and Dropbox accounts having them label their own files through an online survey-based study and an associated data collection frame. Finally, to develop a tool for semi-automated file management, we trained and evaluated classifiers on the collected data. To better understand the subjectivity of file management, we focused on the sensitivity and usefulness of a file. We hypothesized prospective management decisions for each file type. We hypothesized that files that are not useful can be deleted regardless of their sensitivity. Files that are not sensitive but are useful should be kept as is. And finally, files that are sensitive and useful should be protected in some way, such as through encryption. We anticipated that a better understanding of file sensitivity and usefulness would help us design a more effective classifier for file management. Next, I'll talk about our qualitative interviews. The goal of these interviews was to understand users' subjective opinions of file sensitivity and usefulness. This is particularly important because users can have personalized interpretations of these concepts, especially in the context of cloud storage. We interviewed 17 participants whom we recruited through Craigslist. Participants included college students and young professionals ranging from the ages 20 to 45. These interviews involved a guided discussion that explored participants' mental models with the goal of enumerating the many different ways they might consider a file to be sensitive or useful. First, what did we learn about file sensitivity? One of the prominent types of sensitive files were those containing PII or financial information. 
Files with nudity or intimate content were also considered sensitive. A particularly interesting category of sensitive files were ones that were associated with an individual's intended self-presentation or self-image. These included religious or political beliefs, as well as other types of content that they did not want to share widely for a variety of reasons. Finally, participants also found files containing confidential or proprietary information sensitive. For files usefulness, we learned that files that would be referenced in the future or those that are regularly accessed or shared would, were considered useful. Files with sentimental value were also considered useful. Finally, files that had been stored as backup copies were also considered useful. One of the key benefits of learning about these sensitivity and usefulness characteristics was that we were able to transform them into features that could be automatically collected in the next stage of our work. This brings us to the discussion of the data collection framework and the online survey study. Before we could train classifiers, we had to collect appropriate data and labels. Thus, we designed an online survey that we deployed on Amazon Mechanical Turk and Prolific. Participants provided us with API access to their Google Drive or Dropbox accounts. After answering a few general questions about cloud storage, they were shown a subset of files from their accounts. They labeled each file's sensitivity and usefulness. We also collected file management labels by asking them if they would like to delete the file, protect it, or keep it as is. We collected approximately 3,500 file labels across 108 participants as our data set. In addition to these user-provided labels, we programmatically collected an extensive array of features for each file. We mainly focused on images and documents as these file types were the most prevalent on participants' accounts. We collected four main types of features. We used the Google Drive and Dropbox APIs to collect general file metadata and characteristics of the account. These features primarily related to file usefulness. For instance, a file's access details and sharing status help predict its usefulness. We use the Google Vision API to collect features for images, and the Google Data Loss Prevention or DOP API to collect signifiers of PII or financial details in documents. Most Vision and DOP features had helped predict file sensitivity. For instance, the presence of adult content in an image or SSN in a document were related to a file sensitivity. We also performed local text processing on documents. Now I'll discuss our final goal of aiding file management by developing a classifier. Recall that in our data collection framework, we collected three distinct labels, sensitivity, usefulness, and file management. For these, we trained three distinct classifiers. The first two classifiers were to predict file sensitivity and usefulness. We trained separate classifiers for images and documents due to their distinct feature sets. Finally, we trained a classifier to predict potential file at management actions, which was our ultimate goal. We now present the evaluation of our sensitivity classifiers for images and documents, along with multiple baselines comparisons. Specifically, we present precision recall curves, so curves that are closer to the top right corner or better. The, bl the black line shows our first baseline, the performance of the random classifier. We use as our second baselines as two instantiations of the Google Data Loss Prevention or DOP API. While not a perfect ma match for our task, it is probably the closest existing tool for identifying features that capture aspects of file sensitivity. The pink line shows the performance of the classifier exclusively trained on the counts of features produced by the Google DLP API. The blue line is the sensitivity classifier trained on not the counts, but the specific features provided by the Google DLP API. And finally, the red line shows the performance of our classifier trained across the complete feature sets. For images, the area under the curve is 0.71. For documents, it is 0.65. While not sufficient for fully automated decisions, such performance is appropriate for human-in-the-loop suggestions to help users navigate the many files that they have in their cloud accounts. Next, we'll look at the performance of our file management classifier. The bar chart here shows the prediction accuracy of our management classifier and its comparison with the majority, random, and oracle. In this version of the classifier, we did not provide any input from the file sensitivity and usefulness classifiers, 
and that gave us an accuracy of 69%. While it performs better than the majority, its performance is understandably lower than the Oracle, which used participant-reported labels of file sensitivity and usefulness as additional features. But in practice, collecting these labels across thousands of files does not scale up, and this is where our sensitivity and usefulness classifiers come into play. We next performed a two-step classification process. In the first step, we predicted the sensitivity and usefulness using their respective classifiers. We then used these predicted values as additional features to the management classifier along with all previously used features. This was similar to the Oracle, just that we had replaced the user-reported sensitivity and usefulness values with predicted ones from our trained classifiers. Crucially, these predictions require no user labeling. This two-step approach increased the accuracy of our management classifier by 10%. In short, first predicting a file's sensitivity and usefulness can lead to more accurate file management predictions. In conclusion, our study highlights that file management in the cloud is a complex problem. We conducted qualitative interviews to identify a range of characteristics associated with sensitive and useful files. We then conducted a quantitative user study in which participants labeled files from their own Google Drive or Dropbox accounts. We built classifiers appropriate for human-in-the-loop scenarios, finding that predicting file sensitivity and usefulness first helped predicting how a user might want to manage a file. We have deployed a prototype of our classifier on cloudsweeper.app if you want to try out our classifiers on files from your own Google Drive account. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at the email address provided.